Hello everyone. We're going to do a painting today. I'm going to start with some crepe paws. So I have a blue and a brown. We'll start here. And it's going to be a waterfall. It's going to be Multnomah, Multnomah Falls. So I'm going to kind of draw this out here first. Now I'm using a wood panel and this is a sanded surface. And I used um, this pastel ground stuff. Right, and I diluted it with water about, I don't know, maybe one to one. One part's water, one part's ground. Mix that up and then used a brush and put it on the board. So the surface is a sanded surface. And uh, this is actually my first time actually using this pastel ground on a board uh, before. So I've used sanded surface, but it was ampersand pastel board that I use. And this is the first time I used my own uh, pastel ground uh, surface. So. Let's see how it works. So these are crepe paws. And um, just kind of roughly get in the shape of the waterfall area. I'm kind of blocking in with this glue right now. lower part of the fall is right here. And then there's another rocky ledge here that comes up. And maybe over like that. Okay, something like this. kind of blocking in and um, it's eating up the stick quite a bit. This is the sanded surface so that's why I'm going to create pause first so I get a lot of blocking in that first layer done with the cheaper pastel. pastel. Alright so there's the fall part that's about right maybe it's a little bit lower. I'm looking at a reference picture, so kind of figuring out where the lower part of the fall starts. It's about right there. Okay, and it comes up. And then right about here, there's a bridge. Maybe about right here. There's a bridge. Okay, that'll be a bridge eventually. the angle a little bit, a little bit more pronounced there. Okay, and then behind, I'm going to put some brown on top of that. This is just a regular medium brown. Also, crepe paws. And a blue and a brown together actually make a good dark value here. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, and this is going to be a different color. I'm going to go with a um, different kind of brown. We're going to put some brown into it. This is the back part of the waterfall area. 
So there's a there's two parts of the waterfall. There's this long chute that we're going to build here, and then there's a pool, and then there's the second part of the waterfall that drops. So there's just the second part. So I got to create the first part here. And at this stage, it's really just blocking it in and color covering the surface is what I'm really concerned with at this moment. This is an ash gray, um, and it's a it's a Van Gogh. Lighten up that brown I just put in. to extend the rock on this side a little bit more. It needs to come out a little bit more. I'm just looking at my reference here and trying to match that angle. So I'll kind of readjust that part right there. just blue and where I want it darker I'll put the brown on top of that area kind of darken it okay so that comes out about halfway Between these two, the blue and the brown. So where I want it, where I want it darker, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, combine them, combine them right here on the sides, and then I'll just use the blue here for the main waterfall that's gonna be right about here. Okay, and then there's actually a pool. Kind of falls down into a nice pool down here at the bottom. That's really dark down there. Oops. It's really dark down in here. See, I'm really shaving these down by using a sanded surface, how much oil pastels that it does consume. So, it's fun to do every once in a while, but definitely not something I would do like all the time. It just eats up too much stick. Okay, so I'm gonna bring a little peach to this area. This is a, um, you see the color right there? It's like a peach color. This is also a crepaz. Eventually, be a bridge right now. I don't, all I need is that part right there for right now. Okay, okay now, now we got to blend this. So, if I did it by hand, I could do that, and that's going to take a very long time and the sanded surface. So, not the easiest way to blend it. So, instead, I'm going to try a little turp. So this is a terpenoid, a little terpenoid here, OK? 
Okay. And that's what I have here in this little jar and just a regular kind of hog bristle brush for this. And I'm just gonna try to blend it here using this technique and just see how easy this is. I'm hoping that the ground underneath is, and the wood underneath is gonna be okay. Hoping. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. So, I've done this before a lot on paper and DaVinci Pro panels and they're fine with it. I've never actually tried it on, on the board like this, so I'm not really sure, but. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll learn something if it doesn't work. Sometimes I just like to experiment and just try things and and then I make a mistake a lot, but that's all right. Hopefully this will be all right. I did a little test before I started on it just to see and it, I didn't see any deterioration of the board or the, or the ground, so I think we're gonna be okay. This is going to be a process here. I'm just going to spread this all out. Just cover that surface. See how dark that blue and brown makes together there. So I like doing it together like that. It's definitely a lot easier than trying to do this by hand. It saves a lot of time and saves your fingers for sure. Goal is just to try to cover all that, cover all that, move it up, move it around. It comes down more like this, actually. There we go. I can still feel the sandpaper, or the sandpaper grit feel underneath, so I think we're okay with the solvent. I can tell I put a little more brown on this side than this side, so I can see a little bit more blue on this side, especially right here.
Okay. Let's do the middle part. This is where the waterfall will be right in here. You can see the grain of the of the ground that I put on. That's not the wood grain, that's the grain of the brush plus the ground I put on so you can see how it dried like that. It's kind of interesting. I'm glad it's vertical because it helps with the waterfall feel. Yeah. All right, just had to take a little quick break there. So I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna keep going with the solvent and we're gonna go on this face right here. And uh, it's got a lot of gray and peach in it, so it's gonna be significantly lighter. Oh, that will be at that waterfall that comes down here. But right now I'm more concerned about the value, the overall value of that of this space. I'm not concerned about details. It's more about how light or dark is the general color. So we can do the details later on. That's more important later on. Right now what's more important is establishing dark lights and values. I think is more important. And I think I brought my waterfall, this one, up a little too high. I actually want this to be more down here, so I'm going to have to correct that. I think I'm just going to try, see if I can drag it down. Drag this down into it and just move this down. Okay, we'll define it later, but I kind of want more... When I'm looking at my reference picture, actually this waterfall kind of begins a little bit more down in this section right here. Okay, so we'll just kind of drag that down. And finish up here. Now there will be a bridge here. Um, again, that's another detailed item. So right now I don't need to worry about it. Except I know that somewhere right around here, there's going to be that bridge at Multnomah Falls. And I've walked across that, I don't know, probably dozens of times. Kind of a vertical motion on that blending. Thing, I'm just going over the edge because it doesn't really matter. There's going to be a lot of foliage up here, so a lot of this is going to get all this is going to get covered up. 
I'm really kind of just um, blending those two edges right there. And then um, yeah, just gonna kind of continue through it. So I think that's good. Um, I need to let this dry before I continue on. The surface is really wet. Um, in fact, if I take my hands over it, you can see it's just wet. And that's just the, um, the turp that I put into it. So this is gonna take a bit of time to dry out. I'm gonna give it probably a good hour, maybe a couple hours. I don't really know. I'm gonna kind of keep tech testing it every once in a while just to see where we're at. So when I come back, we will, so this is our first layer. When I come back, we'll start putting in some more color, some more details and kind of working on those values. So I decided to use my little fan to see if I can, you know, I kind of help speed up the evaporation process and help dry this out a little bit faster. I don't know if it'll work. I think it'll work, but let's just see. Maybe I can just kind of prop it somewhere. I've had to hold it here. Anyway, I'll play around with this. All right, so I waited a good hour and it is dry, it's ready to go. Um, not wet at all. And I think after about a half hour it was ready, but I went ahead and um, just gave it a full hour to just to set up and dry up. So we are ready to go. And I still have that sanded feel on it. So we can keep going with some more layers. So <clears throat> I'm just using this blue and this brown, these gray paws here. And we'll just kind of continue establishing more of the darks. So keep establishing the darks and um, I work from dark to light. So I like to get the darks in first. I think it's easier to do it that way than establish the light after, after that, but you got to get things nice and dark. Especially right down in here, it looks really dark right here. here. Now the waterfall I had to change a bit. Um, I need to drop, I had the surface up here and I actually need to drop that down to about, about right here. Yeah. <clears throat> Somewhere around uh, right there. And then, um, This ledge goes up like that. And then uh, darker here. So I'm finding all the darker areas and just trying to get that area darker using the combination of the blue and the brown. some blue down and then he put more brown on top of that. <clears throat> Just kind of work that in. And a, a stump here to kind of kind of work those together. So I'm not no longer to use the turp. Just gonna use a stump now. Kind of mixing that blue and that brown together here, kind of smoothing it out. <clears throat> OK. 
Café. <coughs> Here's a little bit of a medium gray. I'll put that right here. There's a little bit of a rock showing through, so I'm going to indicate that with some medium gray right about here. There's a little bit on this side too. So this medium gray here. I believe this is a Mungio. You can see the color. Right about here, you can see some of the rock face and it's kind of gray in color. <clears throat> and underneath that, it's really dark. So we'll put some more blue, more brown underneath. Almost lost it. There's a the brown I want. together so And it's done. Mix it up. I can almost do this with my, my thumb at this point. It's got enough layers on where it doesn't feel too abrasive. <clears throat> color and start building up. Everything starts to move easier. There's that gray, so I'm just going to kind of lightly push that in with my hands. down into like this little collection pond of water right here so it's going to be a horizontal line more down here more color to the back. So we're going to work up here. I'm going to bring um, it's kind of a cocoa brown. This is a Neo Pastel now. <clears throat> we're going to bring a little bit of this into it. Kind of warms it a little. A little bit more contrast. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in a darker brown, kind of define where this first part of the waterfall will come down. So I'm going to create a little bit of a space for that. Now 
and that cocoa brown. So these are the two browns I'm using, this cocoa, kind of a grayish brown, it's kind of a cocoa color, and then this more of a burnt umber kind of brown. All right. So the darker part, I'm using the darker burnt umber. <clears throat> now this is a different brown than, than what I put here. What I put here was this brown. You can see the difference between these two. <clears throat> this is crepaz and this is a, gosh, I think this is a Neo Pastel. Yeah, it's a Neo Pastel, it feels, feels soft. This green, it's kind of a greenish gray. I think it's called Verona. Might be the proper name of it. But a little bit of green back in here. It's very subtle green. It sits back, so it's not very strong. So. <clears throat> and you can see I can just kind of move that around with my fingers. That's Neo Pastel, it's very soft. It's easy to move. And I can just spread that with my thumb. I don't have to use the stump. That's the great thing about Neo Pesto, it's so creamy and soft, you can just really move it so easily. Okay, and this is part, this is the waterfall, it's gonna kinda come down, so where that water is, it's gonna be darker around it. You can see that green in there, you can see a hint of that. <clears throat> Where the bridge will be again not worried about the details of the bridge that's probably going to be one of the final things i work on is the actual bridge and more concerned right now value of this area okay. looking good i think i need to go a little darker a little darker up here so that waterfall is going to be about right here just want to go darker around that area because that part of the rock is wet from the water shooting down it. All right, I just had a phone call, so I'm blanking here.